So in my last previous video, I mentioned some signs I have in my birth chart, my astrological natal birth chart. And uh, I got the rest. Well, there's more, but I'm, I'm going to give you more. You know, so I could give you guys, ladies and gentlemen, a more, you know, a, a bigger glimpse and bigger picture of my overall personality. And obviously, there's more to me than just, you know, science and stuff. I'm not, you know, so just want to let you guys know that. Okay, so I met, you know, my sun sign is in Gemini. My gem, you know, my moon is in Taurus. My Mercury is in Taurus. My Venus is in Gemini. My Mars is in Cancer. My Jupiter is in Gemini. Um, my Saturn is in Capricorn. My Uranus is, uh, is in Capricorn. My Neptune is in Capricorn. My Pluto is in Scorpio. And my rising sign, or ascending sign, how, however you want to put it, is Cancer. So, let's talk about... If, if I, let's talk about what, okay, so, I, like I said uh, on my other, pre, on the other video, uh, uh, I, being a Gemini, a sun sign Gemini, you know, because I was born under the, under, under, under the sign of Gemini, like, and, you know, and I know that, you know, also, you know, and I speak also from experience too, you know, uh, I get, I tend to get bored easily, not because I get, you know, it's just, one of those things that, I guess, comes with being a Gemini, you know? I get bored easily. You know, I like to do different things, you know, as much as possible. I like to mix and match. I like to keep things on the lighter side, you know, on the, uh, on the funner and lighter side of life. I know I... I wouldn't say necessarily hate, but I definitely get bored and lose interest, you know, soon, sooner or later. When, you know, about do, talking about the same things, doing the same things for long periods of time and not changing anything, you know, and becoming, you know, and, you know, and so, yeah, I get bored, of, you know, doing the, talking about the same things and doing the same things, you know, 24-7 and for long periods of time. Like I said, I like to add as much as possible anyways. I like to add uniqueness to my life, diversity. And something new and fresh, you know, so to keep things on the funner side of life, to keep things as unpredictable in a good way, you know, of course, to keep things on unpredictable in good ways, so that is, you know, as much as possible, to keep things, you know, flowing and to, you know, make every day a new day, something new, you know, something fresh, something exciting, something, you know, and stuff like that. So I get bored of talking about the same thing, you know. I lose interest, or or if we, or also if if we talk, if uh, if you talk to me about the same, if you talk to me about the same thing, you know, for long periods of time, I may run out of ideas or things to say because it's like, damn, you know, like we've been talking for this for some time now. It's like I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm running out of things to say because, you know, there's I don't like to get in too deep about something. I like to keep, like, I like to learn as much as possible, but not get too deep, if that makes any sense, you know, like, I like to know enough about many types of topics to talk about and things to do, but at the same time, I may not get too deep into it, because I don't want to be stuck in one little thing or one place alone, you know, so that's another thing, you know, I change, the, I, to some people, I, ch um, I change pretty too fast for them. I change my mind a little too often. I'm kind of fickle, fickle-minded to according to some people, or can't stick to one thing long enough. It's not that I can't stick enough to it, you know, like commit to it or stick long enough to it, you know, or whatever. It's just that I don't really. That's not really my style, you know. That's not really my thing. Being, you know, talking and doing the same stuff over and over for long periods of time, which eventually gets boring and. I'm probably just going to, you know, either stop talking altogether and also leave, you know, because it's like, okay, I I'm bored, you know, like we've been talking about or doing the same crap, you know, doing the same thing for so long. It's like, oh man, I, you know, I want to do something new. I want to keep, you know, change things up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, another, uh, and also, you know, uh, one thing, uh, the, 
the type of people that or let, let me give you my ideal ideal potential lover you know the person that you know my ideal what the perfect lover for me is this is my my own standards of course it's my own standards i'm not saying that i'm not saying in any way that i'm gonna force anybody to be like this i'm just saying this, these are my my like my ideal potential lover you know my ideal lover things i look for in a in a, in a lover is okay you know if i'm interested in you that it, you know that is uh one is the one uh you know that you truly understand me you know that you that you truly understand me for what i mean by that is that okay you know my over you know that you know how my personality is you know that you know to you know to accept basically and to understand my personality where i come from who i am what i like etc you know to un truly understand you know so that's another thing i like you know i i ask or look for any partner to understanding deep understanding not just on a superficial level and you know and for those who and for those that may not know you know what superficial means it just means on the surface you know it, that's what it means i'm talking about somebody who understands me at a much deeper level you know kind of like a like a like a person that could read into people's soul you know like they go beyond the superficial you know what i'm saying they go they look I, you know, they, you know, they could look, they could look and speak to your soul, you know, kind of like at that type of deep level, if not even more than that, you know. So that's one thing I look for, you know. Deep, you know, deep, true understanding of who I am and everything that makes me who I am, and you know, and what I like and enjoy. It's just everything that makes me who I am, and you know, and etc. Another thing I look for in a lover is okay. Someone who doesn't take life too serious. I admit that I may at times be kind of, I may act a little too serious, serious, but um, I, I don't know how often, how, I don't know how often that that is for me. But I could become at times like that. But is I don't, but I really don't prefer. I really don't like being too serious about. You know, I don't I don't like to become too serious in the sense that I become uptight about things, you know, close minded, stubborn about things or whatever. You know, I don't like really I don't really like to become like that or be like that. You know? So yeah. So another you know, so I like you know, I want my, you know, potential lover to be someone who's who keep things on the fun side of life. On the lighter side of life, you know, and just because I'm I I'm saying to keep things on the lighter side of life and funner side doesn't mean that you know nothing bad or that I won't commit to it. You know, it doesn't mean it's far from that. It just means like, for example, like a Scorpio when they're in love, they they're intense lovers, right? You know, even you know they might you know they're you know intense lovers that their partner might. You know that their partner might be, you know, be I don't know, scared of it, I guess, or like feel insecure or not comfortable around, you know, people like that. So that you know, so I'm not I'm not saying that being intense lovers or whatever is a bad thing. I'm just saying like I don't really like super like intense, you know, stuff because you know I don't you know. I, so you know I I rather keep things on the funner and lighter side of life as much as possible. But uh, you know, but so yeah. Another thing I look for, a uh, uh, fourth quality that I look for in a lover is someone who could who could who could keep up with me. You know, I'm not saying like I'm you know, you know harder you know hard to be around, or you know or you know I change things too quick. I, I don't do that either. I mean yeah I change things fairly. I don't know how quick, but I change things up. You know as I don't know. Pretty fast, but not too fast. I may change my mind pretty fast. I don't know, depending on on the situation or 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 at the moment. Sometimes I change my mind pretty fast. Other times I it's more, it takes longer for me to change my mind. So it kind of depends. But someone you know who could keep up with me, you know, 
So if I change my mind, you know, they don't get mad about it. They don't get annoyed by it necessarily. Like they understand, you know, it's part of who I am and, you know, and stuff like that. So someone who could keep up with me, you know. Uh, what, I, what else? Oh, a, you know, another thing I look for in the, in, the, in the potential lover is a great personality, you know. I do care about looks. Don't, you know, don't get me wrong. I care about looks and everything. I mean, who doesn't? But, you know, but that's like some people would say, superficial. I mean, but I do, I will say this. I do care about looks. However, I also care about their personality, their overall personality. Is their overall personality compatible with mine? Is it compa are they compatible with, with me in general too? Like, that's another thing that comes into mind, you know? You know, so are they compatible with me? You know, because if they're not compatible, it's like, okay, you know, we could be friends if you want. But, you know, more than friends, I don't really see that. It's, especially if we're not compatible with each other, it's like, okay, you know, like this person is too intense or too controlling for me or tries to control my aspects of my life with, you know, trust, you know, stuff like that. Then, you know, if the, if we're, if we're, we're not compatible, then, pro you know, I don't, you know, that's not what I look for in a partner. I want somebody who's compatible with me, you know, who understands, like I said, who I am and et cetera. It gives me, my, you know, my personal space, you know, and, and you know, my privacy and, you know, every, you know, and stuff like that, you know. I, 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 you know, so because uh, me, to be honest, uh, I'm a person, I'm the type of person that likes a lot of freedom. And I like to do things as much as I can on my own if, you know, hopefully I don't need a lot of help. Because if I don't need a lot of help, that means I'm, I'm able to do things on my own. But if I do need help, I'll accept help and everything. But preferably, I want to rely as much as possible on my on my own abilities and stuff like that. But if, I, like I said, if I need help, I'll ask you. And I do need help, you know, in certain aspects of my life. And... I feel like I've been asking for answers and solutions, but no luck and no luck so far. I, you know, so no luck and I haven't really gotten no answers. Well, that's maybe that's not entirely true. I have gotten maybe some answers, some few answers, but it's not enough for me to be like, oh, it's made a that much bit change of my life. Like I know what to do now, you know? So compatible, you know, compatibility, you know, with me, with me, you know, with my personality, with my personality and who I am and what I like, you know, having, like I said, compatible with having similar passions, having, you know, similar passions, hobbies and interests as I do. Not exactly the same, but similar enough that we get more than that we get along with each other, if not more than along and, you know, and, and stuff like that. And like I said, you know, I look for any lover, uh, I look for their, per I also care about their personality, you know, do they have a great personality? You know, if not, then, I mean, you, could, you know, you could be, you know, they could be pretty for all the, you know, they could be, you know, cute or or hot for all the, you know, for, you know, whatever. They could be either cute or hot, but still, I if their personality is not compatible with mine and we don't really get along, then, you know, well, I don't really, you know, I'm not going to go out with that person or even consider it, you know, because we don't get along. Yeah, sure, they may be hot and sexy and attractive, but if we don't get along, then uh, it's not what I'm not even going to go into that. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to consider that. So having a great, you know, so some things, I, you know, I find some things. Things I, I, I find very attractive in a partner, in a potential partner, is the following. Care, uh, caring, you know, someone who's caring, someone who's supportive, someone who truly understands you on a deeper level, you know. Uh, someone, who, like I said, tr someone who truly understands you on a deeper level, beyond the superficial. Someone who, you know, enjoys, you know, doing similar if not the same things as you do someone who like i said uh i i like uh, i like people who keep things on the lighter side on the lighter and funner side of life 
you know, I, I, could, I could handle some intensity to some extent, but if it's too much or constantly, it's like, yeah, I don't know about that. I probably, honestly, probably not. Uh, I like people who are, you know, nice, you know. Uh, I find myself very attractive to people who are, you know, my, you know, easy going, you know, my, what's the word I'm looking for? My, someone who doesn't really, who, some, someone who doesn't really get mad like like e someone who doesn't get mad easily like for example like I, and i'm not saying that you know all of them are like this but you know kind of like fire signs you know like in the zodiac sign you know they're fire signs so some of them are quick to you know to get mad some signs are quick to get mad you know some people easily get mad you know um in instead of you know i don't really like that so well, i'm attracted to people uh, as, you know like qualities that I find myself attracted that people may have is that, you know, someone who's mild, mild mannered, you know, someone who doesn't get mad easily and who doesn't, you know, and stuff like that. Someone who's more like in control of their, you know, of, I guess, their emotions and more control of themselves, you know, someone who doesn't get mad easily. Because there's some people that it's kind of, you know, like you say something and they get mad about it or they get disappointed, you know, and, you know, and then they give you, you know, or they and they give you the silent treatment, you know, or the or they just ignore you or something, you know. They you know they they I don't really like that, you know. I like someone who's more mild mannered, you know. Um what else do I find myself attracted to? Appearances, you know, I like I like looks, the t you know, the I guess the you know the type of bot you know the body types that I like the most, you know, or prefer the most would be you know, a petite. You know, like body like a slim body type. You know, a slim body type, or an average or athletic would be fine too as well. You know, those are the what I I usually find myself more attracted to. Um. What else? Hmm. Also, also, um, some you know what I like about what I look for in a partner is that somebody who can adapt to you know to to me you know to who I am and my personality, you know. That's another thing I look for, you know. Like, you know, so like for example, like if at depending on the time and place or whatever, or or if I'm in the mood. I mean, at times I may be in the mood to do certain things. At times I may not, you know. So if I like, if if I if, at any given moment, if I don't really feel like doing anything, like you know, a, a specific thing, then you know, I ask you know, please accept that, you know, to accept that, and you know, just that, you know, I mean, you know, and yeah, you know, accept it, you know, be like, don't try to force me to do something that I mean, I may not be in the mood, because it's not gonna. I get like you know it's not gonna work and it's not gonna make me want to do it more and you know I like you know I like like I said I like people who give me my freedom and you know who give me freedom and personal space you know but you know at the same time I you know once I get my 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 necessary amount of of freedom and you know personal space I'll come back you know you know I'll come back to you know to the person I care for, you know, and my friends, you know. But like anybody else, I, I, I enjoy my freedom, my privacy and everything else, you know. So someone who could, who accepts that, you know, who could, you know, who gives me that and accepts that, you know, that I need lots of freedom and personal space, not too, I'm not saying too much, you know, that I, you don't see me often or that I'm gonna disappear all of a sudden. No, it just means like, just, you know, I, I like, freedom you know and personal space that you know but if you allow me to do those things i will come you know i will con come back to you you know but if you try to control me and you know tell me what to do and what i cannot do and try to dominate me or something then uh pro most likely you're not gonna hear from me uh, you know and i'm gonna disappear you know even if even if i you know so yeah Uh, when it comes to, when it comes to appearances, um, 
I'm more I'm more attractive to I get what uh, uh, and I'm just gonna say I'm more attracted to individuals who are uh, um, you know I guess you could say cute because to me the difference between you know someone who uh, well to me cute means being you know you're still attractive and you're you know and stuff but being when someone says you're cute it means I can eat I don't know youthful young I don't know youthful type of way you know so I like you know that, that's some things I like you know but it does I don't know it, I like you know appearances still matter and I find myself attracted to people who are you could say cute or hot preferably cute but you know whatever you know you know I, I'm pretty uh, I'm you know what else Yeah, so yeah, I mean, that's really what I have to say for the moment.